Hello and welcome to my new video. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing Tumblr quite some time now um, and I was intimidated um, before I did my first one because I was like, oh, they are so expensive and all the resin and what happens if, if I mess up and um, how can I use it? Is it for the bin then uh, in the end? What can I do with it? And um, those questions were like really troubling me. And then I seen a video uh, on YouTube where somebody showed how to strip those tumblers that I messed up. And um, yeah, maybe it helps you to, to come over the fear of those tumblers um, to make. So if this sounds interesting, just follow. And this is the tumbler that went terribly wrong in my case. So I didn't film the real one that I made, so uh, just imagine this is your tumbler that you messed up. So I'm taking some tissues, uh, more than I show you right here, and um, I'm wrapping it around the uh, tumbler. And uh, then I will stick it in one of those freezer bags. And if you have resin uh, on the bottom of the tumbler as well, you have to put there uh, some of the tissue paper too. And then I will take acetone. You can get this at the hardware store and um, I'm putting a generous amount of it into my bag and uh, making sure that the tissue paper soaked up all of the liquid so it stays around the tumbler. Now I close the bag and um, I will let it rest for 24 hours. So it's about uh, three or four days later um, because I haven't been home at the time and now I'm uh, unwrapping the tumbler. As you can see, the whole thing looks disgusting and um, with that brown color of the, uh, yeah, um, of the wood look that I made on that tumbler and uh, it comes off, the resin comes off in one sheet as you can see and I wrapped the tumbler um, before I put resin on there uh, in cellophane wrap like with a rainbowish bang. It comes off too and as you can see the acrylic color, the paints, they come off just as easy. You, because I wrapped the tumbler into cellophane wrap, um, the acetone didn't really get to the color. Uh, it uh, loosened it somewhat, but not enough to come off all the way. If I would have had been more patient, I would have wrapped the tumbler again um, and put some acetone on there and then it would wipe off just like that after 24 hours. As I mentioned before many times, I'm not uh, really a patient person and so I decided to scrape off the rest of the color with my cutter knife. And as you can see, it's not hard to do, it's just time consuming. My last step on this tumbler was to use my sanding block and uh, polish every color that was left on there uh, away. If you found this video helpful to you, uh, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment. It's always nice for hearing from you. Thank you for that. So, and this is what the tumbler looks like now, and I think you can reuse it just like a new one.